All right, guys, so good news to all of these Sorby Shark Cookie lovers out there. Sorby Shark Cookie is actually making a comeback inside of the arena. And that is honestly no surprise because of the fact that there's a lot of double tank comms out there. So a lot of people are using Financier, Purple Yam, Financier, Brute or Charles, and then Financier, Wildberry and uh, whatever you want to name it. And a lot of people are using that. And that automatically means that Sorbet Shark definitely has a place inside of the arena. And people are starting to put them into their team in order to deal with a lot of these tanks, uh, you know, going on a rampage right now. So although there's a lot of different cookies being able to deal damage relative to their max HP, Sorbet Shark is one of the only unique ones right now that is able to do true damage, which is pretty much going to ignore the damage resist as well as defense stat of the enemy cookies. All right, so definitely going to be a very, very good cookie to use to deal with a lot of these tanks. And that's the reason why Sorbet Shark is so amazing. All right, so let me show you guys this team. I've been using this team uh, and I've been winning a lot of different battles right now. And I have personally climbed uh, all the way up to like top 200-ish uh, with this team. All right, so let me show you guys the topping real quick. So starting off with Purple Yam, it's going to be 5 of the Solid Almond. You do want to have at least 2.8% cooldown in order to have that 3 seconds start. And then of course you want to focus a lot on the damage resist because damage resist is going to be the main key when you guys are using the tanks, right? Because there's a lot of different cookies right now being able to deal damage relative to their max HP. Damage resist is really going to be the one that's going to keep them alive. A little longer than the others and the next one is going to finish here finish here with five of the swift chocolate so i've tried out 20 percent and then i also tried out 17.3 percent at least and i have personally had a better success with 17.3 percent uh cooldown and then also uh you know focusing on the damage resist so this is what i've been using all right so definitely at least 17.3 percent in order to have that faster cooldown and the three second start so you can use it right after purple yam and the next one is going to be Sorbet. Sorbet is going to be using four Solid Almond, one Swift Chocolate. So I've tried out five of this Swift Chocolate. I tried out five of the Solid Almond. But I personally found this one the best. Uh, around 10 to 11% cooldown. 11.8 uh, is pretty good as well. But I've used 11%, 11.6%, and 11.8%. And they all came out with similar results. So definitely at least 10 to 11% is what I would recommend. I tried out 15% with a full swift chocolate and focusing on damage resist. But Sorby Shark died a little bit too quickly. 8% it did make Sorby Shark a little bit tankier. But that 8% really didn't help Sorby Shark dodge the enemy's Black Pearl or Captain Caviar's torpedoes as much. Alright, so that's the reason why I went with around 10%. Uh, to 11% cooldown and then focusing on that damage resist and then the next one is going to be black pearl with fine swift chocolate focusing on the cooldown and the damage resist uh, so i do want to say around 18 to 19 percent is going to be the best uh, result for me personally and then uh, focusing on the damage resist and the last one is going to be our bts cookie a little bit different i did focus a little bit more on the attack as well as the cooldown here uh, so crit i could not find uh, enough toppings that are going to have good cooldown as well as crit so i just went with more attack all right and then the treasures of course are going to be the feather squirrel and the jelly watch so let me show you guys this team in battle and show you guys how well it deals with the double tank comps all right guys here we go so charles and financier the double tank comp as well as two in the middle with bts so here we go let's see how well we do here we go so i'm around 365 place right now they are using espresso as well as black pearl uh, so right now, in the beginning, initially, uh, Sorbet doesn't really dodge these skills. But later on, you know, uh, it allows them to, like, you know, dodge some of the enemy skills and stuff like that. So that's the really good part about having Sorbet as well as Black Pearl. One bad thing, however, is the fact that if they do use their skill a little bit off, all right, Purple Yam actually pushes the enemies away from Sorbet Shark's skill. And that one right there, we kind of dodge the uh, explosion of Espresso skill allowing our Sorbet to survive and deal with the enemy. All right, so there you guys go. Kind of easily dealing with the double tank right there with Sorbet's true damage. All right, guys, this one is against the Grandmaster 2, double tank, 2-2-1. Two, two, so here we go. All right, 80th place. And it is going to be Eclair with the, uh, with the Purple Yam. All right, so here we go. They do have the Monocle, all right? So uh, if we're able to deal with their double tanks right away, then... You know, we're not going to have to deal with, uh, you know, the tanks coming back alive because they don't have Feather. All right. So there we go. Sorbet right there too. Sorbet actually dodges uh, Eclair's, you know, uh, weakness debuff as well right there. So there you go. Easily defeating this team right here. All right. 
because they don't even have the feather to bring back their tank. Okay, Sorbet really, really, really making a big impact in the arena right now. All right, there's a lot of different Sorbet comps, but this one's the one that I personally started using. Okay, uh, you know, so that I just want to share this with you guys so that you guys can also use it too. All right, so there you guys go. Sorbet really dealing with their Purple Yam and Financier, allowing us to do more damage. They have five star Ascension on Purple Yam, but still we're able to deal with it with our Sorbet Shark right there. All right, guys, this time another Grandmaster 2 here, but they do have the Feather. Uh, so let's see if we're able to deal with the uh, Espresso, it looks like. So here we go. And it is going to be with the Espresso and uh, uh, Charles right there. So this one is going to be a little bit difficult, uh, maybe, uh, but we'll see. So you guys were able to see right there that Charles in the beginning was able to uh, use uh, their ability first, stunning our cookies. So kind of messing up our uh, skill order a little bit, but not a problem. So we're just going to come back right there and uh, deal with the enemy financier. Uh, Espresso is really low, so Espresso should die right here. Wow, that was really close. So we did lose right there. Okay, uh, the timing was a little bit off if, uh, you know, the Charles wasn't there and they had a purple yam, we probably would have won. Uh, but there you guys go. Very close. All right. So, of course, uh, you know, timing of other cookies as well as their spec is also going to make a difference inside of the arena uh, result. But there you guys go. Uh, very close battle. All right, guys. So this time around, we are having an Insignia combo here uh, with the BTS and Black Pearl finish here. Could be Caramel Arrow, Wildberry. It could be a Brute Caramel Arrow. We'll just have to see how it is. Uh, they do have these two missing. So here we go. Here we go. Let's see how well we do. They do have the Caramel Arrow Wildberry combo here. All right. So good thing here. BTS prevents the uh, Wildberry stun, which is a good thing. Looking like we might take some damage. Nope, we're actually pretty good. Uh, Sorby's still alive. Sorby's going to die, but coming back alive to deal with the, uh, you know, Financier. Should be able to kill Caramel Arrow right there. And we should be good right here. Finis here still staying alive, barely. Okay, but there we go. Sorbet doing 2.3 million, coming back with the Feather, as well as Black Pro leading the team with 2.4 million. All right, so there you guys go. All right, guys, so this one is going to be a 2-1-2 comp. It might be a uh, Cream Unicorn as well as BTS. All right, so they do have the Brute and a Finis here. So let's see how well our uh, Sorbet is able to go through the double healers. All right, and it is actually going to be a vampire instead of a cream unicorn. All right, so a very interesting one here. All right, here we go. Let's see how well we can do, though. All right, vampire uh, dealing some good damage to our Black Pearl. Black Pearl actually might be the first one to go this time around. All right. Oh, maybe not. Actually dodging the uh, vampire uh, bite right there. So Sorbet coming back with the feather. Dealing with the, uh, you know, tanks right there. And we should be good here. Just Vampire, the only one alive. And coming back alive. And we're good. All right, there we go. I thought it was going to be a double healer. But nope, it's this time around, it is going to be the Vampire. All right, so there you go. 2.3 million damage. Uh, Sorbet really just doing what they need to do. Uh, dealing with tanks, especially with the Feather comeback. But there you go, guys, the Sorbet team right there. I will be sharing more, uh, you know, teams like this uh, with Sorbet Shark, as well as there's another summoner comp that is utilizing BTS that is really, really good right now inside of the arena. So I will be uh, sharing that with you guys soon. But just wanted to personally share this. This is more of a standard team that you guys can use. Kind of replacing uh, Captain Caviar with Sorbet to deal with the double tank. So hopefully if you guys do love Sorbet Shark and you guys do have Sorbet Shark leveled up, then you guys can try to utilize this team. Uh, with around 11.8% cooldown uh, recommended or around 10 to 11%, all right, to dodge the enemies, uh, Captain Caviar, Black Pearl, as well as some of the other area damage uh, skill that the other cookies have. Anyways, guys, hope you guys found the video helpful. Uh, good luck with the arena run, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.